wedding breakfast, table plans, speeches, food. Welcome to the second video in this three-part series on your wedding reception. Come on, let's go. Hello lovely brides and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren, wedding planner and owner of Bluebird Creative. If you haven't already, then make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell, and you'll be notified every week when a new video lands. Okay, so the wedding breakfast. Let's start at the beginning and work through the structure of how it actually works from start to finish. Okay, so after the drinks reception, your guests will start making their way in to the wedding breakfast. Now, whether that's via a receiving line, and there's another video that we've done on that already, or whether it's just making their way straight to the table plan or the escort card table. Either way, guests will start looking for their name. So they'll either be searching on the table plan for their name, and then they'll know exactly what table they're sat at or the escort card table they'll find their name and then on the back of the card it will tell them what table they're sat at and then they'll make their way to their table find their name on the table and they will finally take their seats once all your guests are in and seated your toastmaster again whether that is a hired toastmaster best man usher wedding planner your designated speaker they will announce to the room to welcome the new Mr. and Mrs. and ask everybody to be standing. And you will enter the room being announced for the first time as husband and wife. Everybody will no doubt applaud you. You will make your way to the top table. And once you sit down, the rest of your guests will then follow and sit down as well. Okay, so now depending on how you've decided to structure your speeches, there is another video for you on speeches, but you may have decided to do all the speeches before the meal is served you may decide to just do the father of the bride speech before the meal is served. You might not be doing any speeches. So obviously just bear in mind there may be a speech when you sit down, there might not be. If that's the case, then your caterers will pour a glass of Prosecco or champagne, something fizzy usually, sometimes a shot, because that's what some people decide that they want, but a drink will be served so that people can toast for the speeches. It won't be poured if there aren't any speeches before the meal. You'll then obviously go into your meal, whether that's a sharing meal, a three course meal, whatever it is that you've decided, that will then begin. If you've decided to do the wedding breakfast walk around that we've talked about in a previous video, then you obviously so you just need to remember to do that in between each of the courses. After you've finished the meal, you will then go into the rest of your speeches, all of your speeches, none of your speeches, depending on, again, what structure you have actually chosen. There's usually at least one speech at the end of a meal. Again, a drink will be poured so that your guests can toast. And once the speeches have finished, your Toastmaster, designated speaker, will then announce for everybody to make their way to the bar, into another room, or wherever the evening reception is being hosted. Simple as that. It's a very, very straightforward structure to that section of the day, but there is loads of opportunity for you to start adding personalization and making your wedding breakfast memorable and something your guests are gonna keep talking about. So let's go into some of the details now. So there are lots of different ways to add personalization and let's go through a list of different things. So firstly, there's obviously the stationary elements, which we have talked about before. So we have table plan, table names and place names or escort cards as well, sorry, if you've decided to go down that road. So the table plan can be something that's a real standout statement piece. You can have things hanging, you can have flowers adorning it, you can have beautiful calligraphy, it can be a structure, it can be literally anything that you can create in your imagination. I'm sure you can make it happen depending on whether you've contacted the right people. But it's endless, the options. So that can really be something where you can leave your mark and put your stamp on it. You'll obviously then want to make sure that the rest of your stationary pieces coincide with your table plan. So the actual table names, you may want to create something a little bit different. I've had clients whose table names were boats. So we actually got some little wooden yachts and put the table name in calligraphy across the sail. You may want to literally just put some beautiful stationery on the tables and frame them. You may want to have them hanging from some floral arrangement. There are so many options. So really do have a think about them if you're somebody that wants to get creative and start adding details in this part of your day. You can do the same with place names, with menus and so forth. So let's talk favours. 
you first of all need to decide whether you want them or not. If you do want them, then there's loads of ways to make them personal and add a little touch of something bespoke to leave people thinking, wow, that was a really cool idea and they'll remember you and your wedding day for it. There's so many options and you can create something special to you. You could even make a mixtape for your guests of your favorite songs. It is endless what you can do, but do decide whether you actually want to do favors or not. Okay, so another place that you can add personalization is actually the table decor and the details aside from favors and stationery. So the flower arrangements, for example, the table linen, the cutlery, the tableware, the glasses, this is all somewhere where you can actually start personalizing it. Now, I have another video on this for you, so I'm not going to go into it in detail now, now, but again, just bear in mind, you can really, really personalize this section. Then of course, you've got your food, which will speak to your caterer, and that will be personal to you. And you've got your drinks, which again, you can personalize and the music. So whether you want somebody playing live during your wedding breakfast or whether you're just going for the Spotify playlist to play through their sound system, either is absolutely acceptable and can be completely personal to you, but just don't forget to actually have music as it really does set a mood. And finally, room decor. So whether you decide to have fairy lights adorning everywhere, whether you want draping across the ceilings, whether you've gone for some incredible floral chandelier or some hanging installation, whether you want to have different chairs. There's so many options here. So again, really think about it and get on Pinterest to get some ideas and get your creative juices flowing. And finally, last but not least, table layouts. So you can have round tables or you can have trestle tables. You can even go for a mix of both. You may want to have your top table as a round table as well as all your guests. You may want your top table to be a long table and everyone to be else, everyone else to be on rounds. You may want to have a section of round tables and then a really long trestle table layout either side of the rounds, which I've done with clients before, which has looked fantastic. You literally, so many options, but remember you've got trestles, you've got rounds, you can have some fantastic wooden crossback chairs, you can have some St. Louis chairs, which are very elegant and quite timeless. You can go for ghost chairs, which are like clear perspex. You can go for wooden benches. You can really add your personal mark on pretty much any element of your day. Okay, so there you have it wedding breakfast. Hopefully that has given you all the details and the information you need to put together that section of your day and make it personal to you and amazing. And hopefully you can come away from this video and feel confident in knowing what's actually happening. If you feel like you need a little bit more support throughout your planning process, then hop on over to my Facebook group where I have a fabulous community of brides, all helping each other with their planning, supporting each other. And I hop in regularly doing weekly trainings and commenting on all their posts to help with their planning. So if that sounds like it's a bit of you, then hop on over and join the gang. The doors are currently open. If you liked this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up or comment below with any questions that you might have on your wedding breakfast. If you haven't subscribed already, then don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any more videos. See you later. And you will then enter the room for the first time being announced as your new Then of course you've got, oh no, I haven't done the microphone. If you feel like you need a little bit more help, then 